Eddie became Venom, Aunt May is going to become Carnage, we're still waiting for that. We're also still waiting on Mary Jane Watson to become Thanos, but we all know what we're really waiting for. The reveal that Gwen Stacy is Galactus. Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. It is Spectacular Saturday, you know what that means guys. It is time for us to continue the Spectacular Spider-Man. This is Season 2, Episode 1 of the show, Blueprints. Looking back on Season 1 of the show, I am just blown away by this show. I am so happy with what the show has accomplished in its first season. Only 13 episodes. They covered so much cool shit, so many great villains, and so many great moments with Peter, of course, being taken over by the symbiote. We're seeing Uncle Ben in that sort of battle between the symbiote and Uncle Ben really trying to fight for Peter's life, essentially, and ultimately Peter overcoming everything against the symbiote, and then just seeing all these great moments between him and Harry and Gwen, and then the introduction of Mary Jane Watson, and of course, the battle between uh, Peter and Eddie in terms of them being bros early on in the show and literally everything falling apart and throughout the season just slowly building to the point of Eddie becoming Venom and then the big shocking moment of Aunt May going to the hospital because she has a heart attack and all this is going on while he's fighting the Sinister Six <laughs> it's 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 crazy how much this show is covered and of course I'm not covering everything you know that was covered in season one here but just everything this show has done has been so so good and I'm so happy that I gave this show a shot because, as you guys know, in case you're unaware, I was kind of biased against the show because I had seen some images over the years of just random shots of Spider-Man or whatever. I'm like, this looks really kitty. I'm glad that I gave it a shot because I was wrong. This show has so many layers of storytelling, character moments, character arcs, and just overall, it's a fantastic, a spectacular show. So I can't wait to dive now into season two and unfortunately the last season of the show. But the silver lining in my opinion is at least we have two seasons of this amazing show. That's all I can really say. So let's dive in now guys. The beginning of season two of the spectacular Spider-Man blueprints. Let's go. Right away. Wait a minute. Dream? Dream? What is What is going on? It's a dream, right? Yeah. Looks like he grabbed everything but his roommate bailed. Oh yeah. Makes sense. Where are you? Hmm. Fun in the sun, not so much in the snow. You gonna modify it? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that might work. List. <laughs> Good to do the cooking, huh? Whoops. Oops. <laughs> I'm not sure my heart can take watching you cook. Yeah, yeah, walk away. Let them have a moment. Yeah. Hi. Oh, class. Yeah. You know when you put your tongue on the side of the ship and it sticks there? Stan! I hate when I do that. Stan! Just saying. I am the Hi. Behold. Are you Doctor Strange now, man? <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. This is ridiculous. Just talk to her. Just talk to her, man. Just come on. Oh. Ugh. Come on. Oh, of course. I was like, what's going on? Behold. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's not real, but it looks like it is. Hmm. Wow. Nice trick, Bubble Brain. And I bet the cheesy magician acted really <laughs> that was good. You dare call Mysterio a magician? Playing parlor tricks? Parlor tricks? Mysterio's the master of the arcane arts. Well, seems to me Mysterio is the master <laughs> of talking about himself in the third person. Yes, oh, yes. Whoa. You deflect my sword? Here's some lightning! What I assume you would say. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, he's getting sick. I wish another talent was keeping warm. Maybe I can help. Least I can do after all the tutelage. Oh god. He, he needs uh, to... Yeah, camera. Car, but the... It's all about misdirection. 
you wind up paying attention hmm. to one being, yeah. you should be paying attention to another. That might help him fight Mysterio. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm, I'm sorry you've seen that, Gwen. I kissed him. Yes, oh, yes, you did. That's great. Yeah. What well. I don't know. I ran away and he hasn't said a word to me since. So, Dr. Warren, what changes can we expect at the lab? What changes? Uh, Careful. Uh, past successes have already I was hoping to rehire our lab assistant, Eddie Brock, but. Oh. I've He's gone. He's gone. I'm Somewhere. My own person. There is Peter Parker. Ah, uh, we had trust. Yeah. I realize you dismissed him, but he's still the brightest student I have. Everyone deserves a second chance. Are they going to bring Peter back? That'd be interesting. Of course, Mysterio is there. You do? Where's Dr. Strange when you need him? Seriously. <laughs> oh. For you. Batman? Actually cutting him. Wow. I thought they were illusions. <laughs> oh, boom. Nice. Nice. They're, they're, they're just still standing there. That's not weird. Yeah. Something's going on. Hmm. Wow. This was right. It's a lot. Misty's nothing but smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. Misdirection. Now for the man behind the curtain. Enough with the Latin. I know it's an act. Ah, I know it's an act. Yeah. Whoa. For example. Another illusion. Another illusion. Force film. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Yeah, it's all fake. No Spidey sense. Nice. That's really smart. That's real. Okay. Oh shit. Headshot. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of them now. Yep, a lot of them now. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Jesus. Mm-hmm, that makes sense. <laughs> it's awesome, oh shit. Ooh. Misdirection. Nice. I'm guessing this one has a head. Yes, it does. Oh, now you know. It's ah, okay. Uh, it is him. Um, who are you again? Yeah, who? You me away, did I? <laughs> I went to bed early and had a good night's sleep. It's good. <laughs> Bless you. Take some medicine, man. I'm not the one burning the candle. Ow. Of everyone I know, she's the person I most want to tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that means something, right? Yes, it does. Call. Call Gwen. Eat for breakfast. Call Gwen. We'll talk about everything. I'd like to be your mentor. I... Of course. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know mm. uh, I was Big things are happening in your life, Peter. Doesn't pay to waste time. <sighs> okay. I'll, I'll come right over. But you're a fool. Why make your android look just like you? You can oh. look like anyone. Android? Like anyone take credit for the role of... Mysterio! Master Planner, it's Tinkerer. Spider-Man and the cops have come and gone. Everything you wanted Mysterio to steal is still right here. Oh, shit. Of course it is. Everything proceeds according to my master plan. Who's that? Mysterio! That was really, really good. I really enjoyed this episode. To me, this is a great opening for this season because a lot of things happen in this episode. And I'm like... There's a lot of setup here, 
some moments that they don't pay off in this episode and things that I'm really excited to see what happens moving forward. So, first of all, Mysterio, great stuff. I, I, w- I want to get to that a little bit later, but it was really, really good to see Mysterio and everything and bringing that character back Who because we, we saw him in Season 1. He was Chameleon's right-hand man, so it was cool to see him back and actually playing a pretty big part and creating some really crazy illusions. So, we have that. We also have the fact that the opening of this episode, which I thought was pretty smart because they get to the kiss right away. It's a dream, but we get to the kiss. We're thinking, okay, so he's swinging around, it's winter now, it's snowing, and he's talking about the kiss, or he's thinking about it as he's swinging around. And all of a sudden, boom, he gets hit by Venom. It was a good moment. Like, wait, like, okay, this is not real, but still, what's going on here? Because maybe they're surprising us and Eddie got the symbiote out or the symbiote got out. I'm not sure, but of course, it's a dream. It was a pretty crazy dream because literally that was the last thing we pretty much, you know, witnessed in terms of season one besides the kiss and everything was this big showdown between Spider-Man and Venom. So it kind of makes sense to kind of throw the audience off a little bit with showing them like pretty much right away. (laughs) Like, what? Then he wakes up. So... He has a list of things to do, Peter does, and unfortunately, he doesn't do any of them. <laughs> he he wants to because he keeps reading them off, but he just doesn't get to it. He wants to talk to Gwen, doesn't happen, and do this, this, and this, like writing Harry, helping Aunt May, and he tries, but of course, he can't cook, so obviously, <laughs> she's still doing that stuff, but he's just trying to help her out because I'm wondering the time difference between season one and two, like how much time has passed. I'm assuming not a lot, shut up, computer, I'm assuming not a lot has passed in terms of time I'm not really sure but regardless I'm assuming some time has passed I mean I don't know but so we have Mysterio here and they do something so good like so cool and good I can't even talk this morning it's it's, it's been a crazy morning it has been <laughs> it's early too but um what was so cool is that they have Stan Lee cameo in this episode it was I wasn't expecting it but I loved it so much. It was so cool. And then they introduced Mysterio in that scene. That was really cool. And I like the fact that he's so theatrical, which makes sense for the character. And he's so over the top with his illusions and I'm Mysterio. Just the way he talked, like it's it's good. It is so good. Just to, And the design was great too. The design for Mysterio was great. The illusions throughout the episode was really cool too because he makes it look like he's actually lifting an armored truck and dropping it in the ocean. And the creating these, obviously, it, it, it looked obviously like an illusion. The dragon on the bridge, and then it's flying around. It's not touching anybody. And then he does that illusion again with multiple dragons, and they're circling the the uh, the uh, security of Oscorp. And he's and, and all the spells he's doing too. Like he's like he really intricate sounding spells. Obviously, it's all illusions. He has like that um, some sort of like indicator in his hand or whatever to control the robots at one point. And he has other things like a an a, a odorless like poison or some sort of like toxic something where he can like everyone kind of fall down because spider-man deals with that too he he hits the ground because something hits him because he's like and he's like I, I i can't even try to pronounce the, the, the spells but it was really interesting to see a huge variety of ways that mysterio was creating these illusions and creating these things where he makes him like he's an actual sorcerer like it was really well done all the stuff they pretty much covered in this episode in terms of multiple ways he was doing that and i like to and i forget her name do not kill me we, we, we had her throughout season one she of course getting tutored again by peter and of course he, he got sick i like the fact they actually addressed that because he created his suit for spring summer fall like not for winter so obviously he's freezing so i like the fact they had to address that in the show because they could have easily bypassed that and went oh he could reference that he's cold but actually him getting sick because he's swinging around as spider-man in the cold like that with you know skin tight you know whatever that the the um material is for a suit it's not keeping him warm so he has to like and i think one of his things on his list was to get some sort of something to he can wear that skin tight that won't make it too bulky because <laughs> he can't wear like sweaters under his uh, a suit or he can wear sweaters over the suit i guess and keep his mask i, I don't know you get my point so it would just look silly because he tried that we saw that but she was telling him as he's sitting there at, in school just like you know coughing and blow you know like oh, she like sneezing and shit like whatever he's he's sick as hell and she says that, you know, I think she said her dad used to hire magicians or something, and they were able to go behind the scenes, like behind the curtain, and see the illusions, because you're focused on this, but you need to be focused on what's happening over here, indicating, basically telling him 
Spider-Man, though he is, but she doesn't know that. When you're fighting Mysterio, because he's reading the paper, like, they're blaming it on the webhead. They're blaming on Spider-Man. And talk about the illusions. Like, well, you need to look over here. So it kind of helps him know, okay, I need to understand that what he's doing, it's all illusions and stuff. Because all those bat creatures and shit, the fact that those are mechanical, that kind of set up the mechanical versions, the, the, the android robot versions of Mysterio that he was fighting in the later half of the episode. They, they were kind of setting it up with seeing these mechanical bat creatures. It was really interesting to see that because the reveal, like he has it here, and you see like the, the electricity and stuff, he's like, yeah, it's mechanical. Like he's like, I'm the Mystic Arts, I have the forces, and all, whatever shit. It's like, no, that's <laughs> it's all bullshit. But it's just really interesting how they went about showing that because it's actually illusions that are actually not there at all and then actual mechanical stuff that is physically there because peter was physically fighting multiple versions of mysterio and one even with his head knocked off and still fighting and then that little saloon moment that was funny as hell he just ran around and getting slammed and shit and there was like a, a glass broke over his head it's just like silly stuff and then play that, that piano music dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's so good i like the part too where he like webbed over his eyes and just kind of covered it. And all, he was focusing on his spidey sense. He's like, okay, but spidey sense doesn't go off. It's an illusion. Cause we had the tiger jump through him. We had that, uh, dragon type creature that, that he had, uh, made illusions a couple of times previously in the episode. Use that again. No spidey sense. And then he was in like, just, he realized what's real and what's fake. And then they arrested a fake Mysterio. They arrested a fake Mysterio. So the real Mysterio is still there. The tink they call him the Tinkerer, right? Is that what his name was? Anyways, he calls, I think he called him the planner, the master planner or something. And this voice is modulated and there's some, some still some sort of master plan this person is conducting. Who is the individual on the other line? That's what I like most about this episode is that there is setup for some big stuff happening in this that we're, we're that we're building up to i like the fact that there's some new character a part of a master plan that's interesting also too um norman seems like he's been more involved in this season in terms of his uh involvement with peter and everything because peter was given his opportunity to come to, he was given the opportunity to come back and be an intern under dr connor's so I'm guessing Peter's going to be working with with them and with Norman. I'm not really sure, but it sounds like Peter's going to be back into the fold in terms of being an intern. But he's also given, um, like, I guess, a contract for Daily Bugle. So I'm curious how he's going to juggle all that plus being Spider-Man still. I don't know. But man, we also have the fact that we haven't addressed the Gwen stuff, which I, I'm kind of glad they didn't address it in this episode because you kind of want to wait. Because that was a big moment. That was the last. That's the very last thing you see in season one is Gwen kissing Peter. You don't want to address it and then get to the point of whatever the discussion needs to be in episode one of season two. I don't think that needs to happen. There has to be some of that awkward moment because he's questioning, is she the one? Maybe she is the one. Because Eddie thought so. And then, he, of course, he gets that contract. He wants to call Gwen right away. He starts to realize, well, maybe she is the one, but he needs to realize that on his own. He can't just forcibly just talk to her without understanding what he wants. Like, does he want Gwen? I think he does, but he needs to find that on his own. He can't be told by someone else he needs that. He needs to d discover that and realize that on his own. So we'll see about that, but really enjoyed it. It was great stuff. It's great to see the continuation of the show. Um, unfortunately, after this point, we only have 12 more episodes and we're done with the show and that sucks. But at least we have two seasons of the show. And like I said, that Stanley cameo was fantastic. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see if we go from here. And also, I noticed the teacher, he referenced two episode names in this show. Uh, in the show, in this episode. Uh, Survival of the Fittest, and I forget the other one. But um, after he said it, in a few seconds went by, I'm like, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Were those titles? And it, 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 he, he referenced two titles in this. That was really, really cool. So, anyways, I think that's pretty much everything. Um... Lots to look forward to. Hopefully we have like this behind the scenes, some new person um, behind the scenes planning some sort of big thing. So I'm curious what that's going to be. And uh, yeah, we have a lot to look forward to. I can't wait. I can't wait to continue the show. I love this show. What did you guys think of this episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys. Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.